NetBoom is a cloud gaming company based in Singapore, and we consider NetBoom an own it, play it, pick up and play cloud gaming platform, which means you have to own the games to play them on the service. Now I say this with a caveat though, they have many games that you can play without having to own them. In this video, we'll go over how to get started with NetBoom on Android devices. Now before we begin, we're assuming your NetBoom account is already active. Now if you're looking to get set up with a NetBoom account, check out our Getting Started video. Now there are two ways to play NetBoom on your Android device. The most popular way is to play through the app. And the best way to download the app is by going to the NetBoom website. This will send you to the Google Play Store to download it. I also have the link in the description to get the app directly from the Google Play Store. Now click on the install button to start your install to your Android device. Now let it run its course. Also be aware that you need to make sure that your Android is version 5.0 or better. Once the app is done downloading and installing, hit the play button to get started with the app. An app icon will also be presented on your dashboard. Once you have the app downloaded, log in with your Google account that currently has your NetBoom subscription. And once you're logged in, you'll be presented with the games available to play on NetBoom. Now the alternate way of playing is going through the NetBoom site directly. Go to the menu option, Play Now. You'll see an option to log in with your Google account. Log in with the account that has the NetBoom subscription and you'll be presented with the games available to play on NetBoom. Now that you've chosen your way to play on NetBoom, choose the game that you want to play. In this case, I'm going to play GTA 5. You can use the in-game touch controls, but I highly recommend using a Bluetooth gamepad or a mobile controller like a Razer Kishi for Android phones. Once your game is loaded, log into your respective account for the specific game you are playing. You can do this by using the touchscreen menu to get the keyboard up to enter your credentials. The keyboard might also come up automatically by tapping the text field. Once you are fully logged into the game, play the game as you would normally. Once finished, use the touchscreen menu again to exit the game and the session. This will close your session and back you out to the NetBoom site, where you could choose to play another game or close NetBoom altogether. If you like this getting started video of NetBoom on Android, give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.